Hello, hello everybody, welcome to this new tutorial. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you guys how to create this beautiful clock. It is a beautiful Roman clock. Yeah, so uh, let's get started. So yeah, open up NetBeans and then create a new project. Just click next. And then enter name. Now create a new G dialog. So we resize it to 200, 201. Set the layout into new layout. Now we need six G levels. Hold shift and uh, click six times. Okay, now I'll have to set the size and the position. Uh, now I'm gonna rename each one of these. Uh, this is my working files folder Make sure to download it from the link in the description below Okay, so the reason why I took six G levels is is it because my clock uses uh, or needs six components uh, three constant and uh, three variable Okay, so let's set the constant components So yeah, click on icon and then uh, External image and then select your image Uh, okay, so set the size of the G dialog and uh, make it unresizable. And check the undecorated. So you can turn off the frame and the total bar. Now let's execute it and see how it looks like. All right, all right. Uh, now we need to add the clock hands In order to do that we need to get into the source code the first thing we need to do is to create the thread the thread is the the function that let you create or execute multiple tasks simultaneously
Okay, I'm gonna use this line to bring the images uh, for the three, three G levels. The the big hand, the red, the little hand, and uh, the big hand. Okay, so this is my working files folder. As you can see, uh, here you you can find all the, the images that I will use. Okay. You can notice here that each uh, name of image uh, corresponds to the the time shown in that image. It's a combination between an initial letter and uh, a number that corresponds to the time shown in the, uh, at the image and all the, the, the format or the type of the images is PNG ok so I'm gonna indicate the location of the images Okay, so the, the images of uh, the folder big hand uh, got the initial B. And R for uh, the big hand red. And uh, L for the, the little hand. Okay, so let's execute it and see how it looks. Okay, we got uh, a problem here. Uh, only the big hand is working. We need to figure out what is the problem. Okay, so we forgot to add the initial letter of uh, the name of the picture. Okay, now let's execute it another time. Oh, great! It works fantastic. Okay, now we need to remove the background. Okay, now it's perfect. Okay, now the next thing is to to make this uh, this widget draggable.
Okay, here it is. Oh, this is awesome. This is wonderful. Okay, the last thing is uh, we need to add a close button. Uh, for that, we're gonna use the pop up menu. Okay, let's try it now. Good, very good. Okay, you will notice that uh, the clock is literally eating my processor. Uh, so, we need to fix this. Okay, so uh, let me show you why, what is uh, the problem. Okay, so here is the reason of uh, this problem. As you can see, uh, the thread is executed so many times for a second and uh, it is saturating my processor and we don't need to execute this function more than once for a second so we need to, to stop that okay now it is very good just uh, once per second yeah so this is uh, not uh, overwhelming the processor anymore it is awesome uh, this is the end I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial Please let me know if you want me to do a video on how to turn uh, this clock into an alarm clock. Uh, and please, if you enjoyed, press the thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much. See you with the next videos. Bye bye.